Okay, we've removed the larger white structures. Those were the seminal vesicles, reproductive organs. And when we remove those, we can more easily visualize parts of the circulatory and parts of the digestive system that we really want to focus on. Um, starting here at the anterior end, the mouth leads into the pharynx. The pharynx leads into the esophagus. The esophagus is running underneath these structures here. We'll get to those in a minute. The esophagus is under here. It's a whitish colored tube. And it leads into this grayish round structure right here called the crop. And if you notice as I'm pushing on it, it's soft um, and some other stuff kind of comes out of it when I push on it. The crop is a hollow storage facility. So as the worm goes through the soil, it takes soil and whatever's in the soil into its mouth. It passes through the pharynx esophagus and into the crop and is basically stored there. It then moves from the crop into this what larger white structure called the gizzard. The gizzard is hard. It's much harder and it's more muscular. In the gizzard, things are crunched up and digested more, and then they pass into the intestine. And basically, the rest of the worm is intestine. From there all the way to the anus. So let's get back to looking at what we got here. The other thing that you see very, very clearly is this dark line running through here, and you can see here where I cut it as I was doing my dissection. Um, that is the dorsal blood vessel. What you can see very clearly, and if you um, dissect it very, very carefully, are the aortic arches or the pairs of hearts. Annelids have five pairs of hearts. One, two, three, four, five. Um, the pairs of hearts connect the dorsal blood vessel to the ventral blood vessel, and blood runs one direction through it. Okay, so it, it goes down one side and up the other side, and it's pumped by these aortic arches. So those are the two main things that you needed to visualize as you were going through this dissection. The differences in the digestive system, where we start to see specialization with different organs now having a different job. The esophagus, the crop, the gizzard, the intestine, and a closed circulatory system with our aortic arches and the dorsal blood vessel and then the ventral blood vessel. Um, the other thing that you can try to visualize up here are different parts of the nervous system. That's a little bit harder. Um, what I wanted you to focus on in class was the digestive and the circulatory.